this goes. is part and parcel of uh, painting outdoors so yeah but uh, definitely not ideal conditions for painting that's all right just when you step out okay. one thing that you need to be <laughs> aware of that things won't go according to plan always so you should be always ready to say that's all right and keep going yep so i'll just uh But because of the rain, the paper is so wet that I'm unable to get that. That's all right. I'll just continue.
unbelievable the rain has cleared and now we got some patches of blue sky as well so i'm going to start over again let's see how it goes this time all right so i'm starting this from scratch for the second time so let's see how it goes this time so i'll spray some water My brushes are like uh, full of sand. It's all right. So got some grey clouds and it's the same mix. I need to get this done before it starts to rain again. try to put in at least the first wash so that I can go home and kind of finish this off in peace. There's a little of sand over there. Almost white in the foreground, so I'll just take add some water and really wash it off basically. So that's uh, kind of our first wash. Uh, So I've done my first wash and as you can see again I'm starting to get uh, what you call the raindrops on the paper. I'll continue. Let's see where we end up this time. Thank you. 
so I'll leave that like that and I've run out of paint in my palette, but I'm just too lazy to uh, squeeze more, I'm just trying to keep going. I don't want to take eyes off the painting, I just want to go with the flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop with that and because it's starting to rain again, I don't want to lose another painting. I'll just take this home and see what we can do more to this. So at this moment it looks like this. Let's see how we can finish it off at home. So I'm back in my studio uh, and I have completely dried this painting. You can see the places in where the raindrops have felt. That's all right. It kind of looks nice as well. So I'm just going to finish it off. Uh, you would remember that there was kind of a small rock here that we need to put in. I don't have a reference photo with me because I forgot to take it. Uh, but I do remember what was there before, so I'll... So there was... Uh like this and a few bits and pieces over here as well
next off, just darken the water a bit. Needs a bit more uh, warmth in there. Yeah, that's much better. I'll use a masking tape for this. I couldn't properly preserve the whites when I was painting because it was raining and I couldn't really focus well. So I'll just use a bit of gouache, no other option left. All right, so that's pretty much it. It's a painting that we started on location and had to give up halfway because it was uh, raining. And I just finished it off in my studio. And I do remember that there are a few yellow flowers or weeds uh, within this green, so I'll put them in as well. So thanks for watching, I'll just remove the tape and we'll see how it looks uh, with that nice white border around it.